This EPIC tutorial covers the Eligibility Review tab in a customer's profile. With the Phase 2 application, the eligibility is limited to a DHS caseworker. You can view baseline requirements by taking a look at which application they took. If they did the Phase 1 application, you will see the NACTI results in here. If they did the application version 2, you will only see the information that they entered about their education from their application. You can view any non-recommended programs and look at why the person is not recommended for those programs here. Under the recommended training programs, under the recommended training programs, the DHS caseworker is the only one who is required to do the eligibility requirement reviews. You can see the, the information for each program by clicking on the link. So you can review that with the customer. You can see the length of training, how is it accessible to training, and how far away is it from them based on the zip code that they entered into their application. This is important for you to discuss with the customer because they may or may not have transportation to get a long distance away, but they may choose to do that. In the last section, we have Verify Eligibility and Complete the Pre-Random Assignment Questions. Here is where you will check whether or not the person is SNAP eligible and whether or not the customer declines to participate based upon their program selections or options above. You will pick what model. If they do not have a high school diploma or a GED, you would automatically recommend them for the adult education model one. Model two is just a little bit of prep work. Maybe they just need a little bit of math update. And then model three is sending them directly to the short-term occupational skills training. Under the pre-assignment question, you will select what CBO the participant is likely to select. Click Save. If the participant is selecting a program which does not allow someone to be on the sexual offender registry, you will be asked to check the familywatchdog.us to make sure that they are not on that registry. That's it for the eligibility review. Watch this and other training tutorials in our EPIC Partner Resources.